It's so good to see you. Hi, so thank you that, uh, that we are doing this uh, video together. My name is Marilena Criseo and I'm from Switzerland. I'm uh, doing acupuncture and Chinese medicine since 2010. I work by my own. Wow, that's great. Yes, and, um, and then I started to do um, some courses uh, of the eye. I did it twice, once in Brazil and once with you. And so I started to take other um, healing methods into the acupuncture. So I'm not only doing acupuncture, I'm kind of mixing with other techniques. And so I found my way to get the best of, uh, of healing for my patients. Oh, that's super. That's super. So, you know, you contacted me about joining um, the, the Quickening Foundation. What led you to that? I guess it was like there were two things. One thing was that I was... Um, I remember I had a, a patient which really I felt it's occupied with um, entities and mm -hmm. I didn't know really how to get rid of them or how to release them. So that was one thing that I remember I was working and I thought I have to contact Sue and ask her if I can get the technique to um, to work with with these entities because I was sending light and praying but I didn't know exactly what to do with them. So that was one point. And the other part was that since a, a long time, I feel it, I'm doing a lot of things, a lot of courses. I started this journey with doing um, courses in, in the spiritual path around 2001, something like this. And it just went to a certain point. And then always I got the throwback. So I felt really like that something is like holding and I can just go to that point and then I do something or life in life, life is doing something and I get this throw back and then I go back, back, down, down, and then I start to go up again. And this was a feeling that I knew since ever with everything, not just with courses, but also with integration of what I learned and, and with life in general. I, I knew a lot of things. I know a lot of things in my head, but it was kind of mm -hmm. difficult to get rid of or to integrate them in my so life. So what was the most memorable aspect when we were doing the Quickening Foundation for you? In that moment, in those uh, two days, I felt it. I felt from, from minute to minute that I got lighter. So I, I, I could feel it. And that was the thing that was amazing. Like I could really feel like... Um, it was shifting, it was going away, things were going away from my field and from my aura and from my body. So that was really, I felt like after two days, I was really feeling free, kind of oh, light and free. And this was amazing. You did this, this um, quickening foundation with me online. Yes, I did it online. And I was not really, you know, I'm suspicious in these things. And, you know, because I did a lot of things before, a lot of things. And I was always waiting for this breakthrough and breakthrough and break in. Mm. And uh, so in this online, I thought, mm, mm, let's give it a try. But yes, I, I'm open, but just, I don't know exactly. <laughs> so I was surprised. <laughs> And I guess for the whole group was kind of the same feeling. So I was, uh, yeah. So what was the biggest result or the transformation, would you say, for you in, in this quickening foundation? It was that I, I don't feel, I don't feel these walls anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm still throwing my, my same back. <laughs> But this is kind of something because it's a safety place. So I feel it's now it's it's a, something else. It's not like a wall that I can't pass, but it's more like oh, I know this thing, and maybe I throw myself back. But I'm, it's faster. I'm standing up faster and going forward faster. Uh, things are going faster like also healing techniques to learn everything it's not that it changed everything in my life but i feel it goes a bit 
faster everything. Like if I go to, to the, in this direction, I can go. It's it's open. It's not uh, it's not closed anymore. Oh, that's super. Would you recommend this um, cricketing foundation for some, for other people? Yes, because it's releasing a lot of old stuff that we don't know and we can't see it. And it's really from this dimension or other dimensions or from this life or other lives. And it's really, it's cleaning. And this is, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, so we can walk freely and we can uh, learn freely. And, and uh, yeah, it's really, the releasing part is amazing. So, yes. and we started just with a little bit of the I am's, I remember, yeah. and this, the next thing that I'm really interested in because I thought it's really powerful to to this yeah yeah I am is the 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 uh two most powerful words in the English language is yeah. I am because whatever whatever follows it is a declaration of who you are so yes the I am is very good so what would you tell someone who's thinking about joining the, to do the, the Quickening Foundation? What would you tell them? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> Nothing else to say. <laughs> Just go for it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In whatever I did till now, this was so profound and it really brought a change inside myself. Not that this life changed and everything, but it, it was really a profound change into myself that I was looking for. You remember in the eye, I already <laughs> was speaking about that and mm. I wish that it came before the eye. <laughs> yeah. For, for myself. Yeah. Yes, the, the Quickening Foundation is one of those things that I know personally I love. And in the very beginning of the doing it, if you remember, we did a universal resistance piece. And that really helps people shift and, and, and be able to accept all those other things that we're, we're learning and we're taking in. So, Yeah. That is, that's one of the best pieces I think we can start with. And then we get into all the other releases and letting go of crap. Exactly.